Hi, Jambo, and welcome to Mambo's Viva. I am Hanifa Kut, your host, and today we will be talking about sustainable community development. Welcome. I know you have heard of different community development approaches. Top-down approach, bottom-up approach. Do you know about these approaches? Let us just have a snippet of such. So, in top-down approach, this is where an expert actually comes with an idea, goes to the community, and helps the community implement it, or implement it for the community. Whereas, bottom-up approach is where the community is involved in making decisions on what they want in the community. And then, they implement it, or they are assisted to implement, the given idea. So, which one do you think is best fit? Is it the top-down approach or is it the bottom-up approach? What is a community to you? A community can be defined as a group of people living at the same area or a geographical location considered together. On the other side, communities can also be defined by the different types based on interests, actions, places, practices, and even circumstances. For example, according to interests, we can talk of the musicians. Based on action, can be the activists. Fighting for a change or a specific agenda. For example, we can talk about the climate change activists. When you talk about practice, it can be even the areas of specialization, like the lawyers can be a community, the engineers can be a community. What are the boats? Um, communities defined by place. It can be because of the geographical divisions, all that, like the nations. For example, I can say I come from the Kenyan community because I am a Kenyan. People from Uganda can be from the Ugandan community, the Ugandans, we can see Nigerians, you name it. Communities formed by circumstances. More or less, we have heard of the internally displaced communities or the refugee communities. Then, when we talk about community development, there's the aspect of development. So, how do we define development? Development is the act of growing or having progress. That is, becoming more advanced. In this sense, what is community development? This is the growth, improvement, and advancement of a given locale or a group of people bound by specific beliefs and interests. It is more or less people with a sense of connection working towards improvement and having interventions over what affects them. When I think of a community that is developed based on what used to happen and what has changed, I can say that a community that actually appreciates that women and girls play an important role in the society, not just staying at home and housekeeping, is a community that is developing and developed. We can have many other examples based on different things. We can even talk about education. But to you, what do you think or which example would you give of a community that is developed or a community that is developing? Then when we jump to sustainable community development, What are we focusing on? 
bringing in sustainable community development actually combines community development and sustainable development. Sustainable development, a new term that we've brought in. So, this sustainable development, if asked, what would you say it is? Sustainable development means having and ensuring progressive growth to secure present needs without compromising ability of future generations from meeting their own needs. Yes, sustainable development in short is ensuring this intergenerational equity. And not only intergenerational equity, but also bringing about the aspect of intergenerational equity. Big words I know for some, but what are these? Intergenerational equity is focusing on the specific generation and seeing to it that within the given generation, people are able to meet their needs and not affect each other on a day-to-day -day basis. You see, like if I decide to, to cause pollution to an, a specific ecosystem, it might affect people within the given ecosystem within that duration of time. Because of that, I won't have focused on intergenerational equity. I will have affected the people within my generation. When we talk of intergenerational equity, we are focusing on different generations. If I do something during this period of time, come 10 years day, how is it going to affect? Are the people 10 years later going to be able to meet their needs based on what I have done? Like exploitation of resources. When I dig up a certain mineral that might be important, how do I do it? Discriminately or indiscriminately? You see? So when it comes to sustainable development, it is more or less focusing when I meet my needs and the means in which I meet my needs, am I able to ensure that other people will meet their needs? Food for thought. Anyway, so sustainable community development is therefore going to ensure that there is growth within the given locale while ensuring it won't be detrimental to the generations to come. Creating a nexus between environmental issues, social issues, and economical issues while ensuring the sustainability. So, if we have a change in the community, it should be something that in the future won't affect the generations to come. So for improvement and the growth of our communities, what do you think is so important? Should we just focus on developing our communities and not think about what the future generations will feel about it? Do you actually think that will be coined as community development or will it be coined as something else? There is also a need to empower people to take initiative, be involved and be part of the process to ensure sustainability of the different projects taken up in the community. Because an, an empowered people are the people who can actually bring about change in the society from an informed point. Lastly, for sustainable community development and real change to occur, we need to acknowledge that the people in the grassroots and in the communities have power. So, this takes me back 
to what I asked. There's the top down approach and the bottom up approach. Which one do you think is the best when you're looking at sustainable community development? Should they be used together? Is there anyone anywhere they can match? Or it is about one or the other? Anyway, thank you for your time and thank you for being part of this. Till next time. Bye.